off. Firstly, down below, put your favorite jump shots with your favorite releases and your favorite release timings down below. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest on 2k in existence now look i'm going to be giving you the best jump shots and best jump shot tips in nba 2k24 new gen and old gen now i know a lot of this might seem basic but it's not because no one does it okay every single year no one can shoot on the game no randoms can shoot on the game you have to share this video to all your friends that can't shoot make sure they do this stuff it's like y'all know to do it but you don't do it you cannot have fun on 2K if you cannot shoot a jumper, bro. S seriously, you're limiting your fun. 70% of the player base just presses R2 and hold square. They can't shoot, they can't fade, they can't hit a three. Grown men, okay? Adult jobs, kids can't shoot. It's pathetic. Let's do better as people. <laughs> And come on, man, let's put some effort into learning how to shoot on a video game, bro. Please take some time. Break it down, dog. OK, now, before we get into the recipe, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. If y'all are new, help me hit 280K.1. We are like 60 subscribers away. Help me get 500 likes within the first five hours to push the video to the algorithm so Young Swan can grow. Firstly, before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else, but you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, but yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes so it's kind of hard you know you know but it's still easy right you just got to get used to it you know you got to have your prediction skills up you can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. take off trigger effects something should not be vibrating in your hand you're a grown man you feel me take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration, it's cool, but take off trigger effect. Throws you off, it's ridiculous. When I be playing Wreck, all I hear, old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. Now look, your visual cue. I like release. I say use release or push. They say release is very late and they're saying push is late. Um, I be using release and I, I like it. They saying this is uh, whatever, but whatever. Your timing, it just make sure you put it on push or release and then let, let me know how you feel about it. This is supposed to be very early this is supposed to be early this is supposed to be late this is supposed to be very late firstly this jump shot right here is one of the best jump shots in the game okay you can make it faster all that you know we got some immaculate releases on it you got a nice cue right you got a nice cue for you my boy you got good time and stability decent release height but you could change that you got good defensive immunity all that great jumper you can make it max speed jumper right Okay, the trader jump shot. Okay, we got the ver. 
the Culver. This one ain't got as good time and stability. It, it got a nice release, you know, the feet together. It's, it's another decent jump shot, right? I'm gonna show you the best jump shot soon, okay? It's 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 like no thought has to go into it with the, with the jump shot I'm about to show you guys, man. It's so easy to hit with. Another good release cue. I like these releases, man. You see anybody using that goddamn uh, Pippin release? <laughs> me, me. Now, I think they're saying this is a replica of T-Mac, I think, or some some base. Everyone's saying this is like hella good, especially if you have a lower three-point. And this is just for the main ball handler with the decent uh shooting, right? Like these shots I'm currently showing you. But you can get this jump shot with lower, right? Look, it says 85. Um, And these releases make the requirements higher, right? You could use different releases and get the same base in all the uh, jump shots that I'm showing you, right? Um, yeah, y'all let me know if y'all want me to make a best release video like I did last year too. I'm gonna show you different variations of these too. So, you know, and look, we got the Scottie Pippen, immaculate, very easy jump shot to hit with, right? For some reason, these jump shots that are 6'5 plus, way easier to hit with. I don't care they say longer arms, da, 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 da. bro, look, when they be testing these holes, the green windows don't be as big as the smaller guard jump shots. I don't know why. I don't know why, because it's way easier to hit with these holes, and you can max speed these holes, so I, man, I, I, ain't, I ain't hearing it. And even when you make the smaller base jump shots 75%, right? or 50, you still can't hit as easy as you can with the 6.5 plus. I'm telling you, bro, they're doing something to limit people who pick those smaller builds, bro. I'm telling you. But yeah, this is another immaculate jump shot base, okay? And they saying this hoe was the greatest jump shot base in the game, okay? Very easy to hit with. T-Mac is a OP cheat code in uh, my team. And um, yeah, you can use different releases to get it, you know, but this whole, it's, you can't shoot with this, just just get off the game. Just go play story mode games, bye bye. <laughs> game it ain't for you. I don't think I showed this one right here. Here goes a different variation of the T-Mac, you know. Now look, here's for the big man, okay, this jump shot. Um, It's not max speed, but it's still an A um the release height so it's gonna be hard to challenge you so you could really shoot over smaller players and um yeah you know discourse sent me this jump shot because i don't have a big that can shoot like this right but yeah they say jonathan isaac is a good base for a big stretch type of builds right the eric base okay it's not an a plus but you know like it has high uh release height and it got good grades all around a a b b you know, and th this is another good base, right? And the Michael Porter Jr. And this is another good base, right? So you got you got your bases, my boy. Now, whatever bases y'all like, y'all come back and let everyone know know in the comment section so we can have a collection of people that can shoot in the goddamn game and, and improve 2K. <laughs> so they don't make shooting so easy. Your skill boost. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot. <laughs> jump shot boost will help you if you want to be able to shoot also even better gatorade okay um you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it make sure you always do your weekly workouts they took gym rat out the game if you do your weekly workouts on a certain level you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do correct very important your gatorade is going to help you shoot you, you see how they everything in the game is designed for you to be in a vc deficit we are basically paying to play the game <laughs> y'all ain't never thought about that huh get your hot zone okay get your hot zones in my career it will change your life get your hot zones a lot of y'all can't shoot you don't have hot zones and every 2k you don't have your hot zones you struggle to shoot have your hot zones plus your badges you'll be gucci now one more thing in every 2k people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay you could turn off your shot feedback you could turn off everything if you like if you feel like stuff is really bothering you if you're lag delayed you turn all this off it could help i'm gonna keep it on 
But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could do. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. Don't.